everyone. How are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if an authentication error has occurred. Code 0x800706BE when attempting to connect to a host computer via a remote desktop connection. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest doing would be if you're having an issue in one particular instance, I wouldn't make this a permanent fix necessarily, but if you're trying to get around this just for the time being, you may want to open up the search menu, type in group policy, best result, should come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath computer configuration, you want to double click on the Windows settings folder. Do the same thing for the security settings entry in here. Same thing for local policies. And now there should be something that says security options. Go ahead and just left click on that one time. On the right side, locate the area near the top that says accounts. Limit local account use of blank passwords to connect to log on only. Go ahead and double click on that. Set this to disabled and then apply and OK. You may want to come back in here later and re-enable that. But just for the time being, that might be able to help resolve the problem. Something else you want to look into here as well, if you close out of here and you open up the search menu, type in control panel. Best match, or come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to category view and then select system and security. And now you want to go to where it says allow remote access go ahead and left click on that select the remote tab and then where it says allow remote assistance connections to this computer make sure that is check marked in the on position and you may also want to go underneath remote desktop down here select allow remote connections to this computer and then select apply and ok again the group policy editor method may be a secondary object you want to look at in this tutorial but I definitely would try this probably first and then I would do the group policy editor. It doesn't really matter. You can always go back in the group policy editor and disable that later once your session is done. But that's just something else that you want to consider here if you're having this recurring issue. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.